Weeds. For farmers, they're supervillains. They steal vital resources from crops, water, light, nutrients. For centuries, farmers were often limited to labor-intensive ways to fight them. Then a hero arrived to save the day, herbicides. But some early herbicides, like 2,4-D, were toxic and hard to use. So many farmers rejoiced when the Monsanto company introduced its Roundup Ready system. Roundup Ready featured seeds genetically engineered to tolerate Monsanto's Roundup herbicide. Roundup was less toxic than some older herbicides, and it was easy to use. Roundup Ready seemed like a superhero, but this superhero had a fatal weakness, resistance. Some weeds have genes that protect them from Roundup's effects, and the more Roundup farmers used, the quicker the resistance genes spread over time. Encouraged by Monsanto's marketing campaigns, farmers used so much Roundup that resistance soon accelerated into a super weed crisis. Millions of U.S. farm acres are now infested with super weeds. Instead of solving the problem, Monsanto has supersized it. Farmers need an answer, and wouldn't you know, agribusiness has one. New seeds engineered to tolerate the old toxic herbicides. These superheroes look a lot like the last one, with the same fatal weakness. There's a better way. At the Union of Concerned Scientists, we call it Healthy Farms. Healthy farms use the science of agroecology to control weeds by working with nature, not against it. Healthy farms are sustainable and cost-effective. But change isn't easy. We need new policies and more research to help farmers make the transition and become the real heroes of a healthy farm future. Be a hero by pushing for healthy farm policies today.